everyone, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel, What Cass Read. Today I'm going to do the end of the year book tag. It's officially October, which means it is now the postseason. So in honor of that, I'm wearing my Minnesota Twins 1991 World Series Championship sweatshirt. There's a good thing about having a father-in-law who like never gets rid of stuff is because they were having a garage sale and he had all of his old Minnesota Twins sweatshirts in there. And I was like, are you seriously going to sell these? Because I want all of them. And that's where we're at. That's why I'm wearing this. It's a comfy day. Um, so anyways, tag time, end of the year book tag. I have the questions on my phone and let's get started. Okay, so question number one is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? I think I've done a pretty good job of the books that I've started this year, like not counting those that I DNF'd, I, I did a pretty good job of like actually finishing them. My problem is, is that there are two books that have been staring me in the face. Two books that I started last year and really need to finish them. And so you've seen these on my channel before, but let's just review. First one is Ruin by John Gwynn. This is book number three of the Faithful and the Fallen series. Every single time I think I'm gonna pick this one up, it just ends up not happening. I just think Luna's coming around the corner. She's around here somewhere. It just ends up not happening and it makes me really sad because this is the third book and there's only one more book, which is the fourth book. A ton of people have been rooting for me to finish the series. I've been taking my sweet time and I really feel like I should finish this book. And then the other book that I've also mentioned a couple of times, this is Bloody Rose written by Nicholas Ames. This is the second book in his The Band series following Kings of the Wild. It follows a new set of characters. I have started this twice now and I, it's gonna have to be a third time where I finally finish it. I just, I don't know what my deal is of like not having any motivation to pick things up. I just kind of got a little bit burnt out from the last readathon that I participated in. And so I thought I was gonna start reading some big books again and it just, it didn't work out for September. I'll just put it that way. All right, question number two is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? No, I don't, um, but I have been doing a Harry Potter reread. So this is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. To me, a Harry Potter reread is like best done right in the autumn time. Like uh, the Back to Hogwarts September 1st Twitter train got me super hype. And then again, because I was feeling kind of burnt out, I started just reading Harry Potter and just having a good time with it. So I think I'm almost done with this one. I'm definitely, oh, I'm in chapter 30. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost done with this one. So I'm probably gonna just keep going and see how far I get. Question number three is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Um, I had a whole video that I posted last month about my end of the year anticipated releases. Top of the list would probably be Queen of Nothing by Holly Black, the third book in the Folk of the Air trilogy. I'm very excited for that one. That was a series that completely shocked me and took me by surprise this year. Um, what was the other one? Star Sight, which is the book to follow up uh, Skyward, written by Brandon Sanderson. That's the new um, young adult science fiction series that he's got going on um, and hollow pox is always on the top of my list but hollow pox isn't coming out till 2020 and that's the third book in the nevermore series question number four is what are three books you want to read before the end of the year you know I was looking at my shelf and I'm just not sure if there's like any that are just sticking out at me. I was able to find two, but like I couldn't find a third one for whatever reason. So the first book that I really wanna to get to is Elantris written by Brandon Sanderson. It has been my goal um, to work my way through a couple of Brandon Sanderson's books this year so that way I could get set up for the Stormlight Archives. So Elantris is my next book in that plan and I would really like to get to that by the end of the year. Last year I ended up finishing uh, the, the Mistborn trilogy like right on New Year's Eve day. So who knows if that's gonna be my trend, but I, I think I'll be able to definitely get this one in before the end of the year. And the next one is something that I've just been really looking forward to and haven't had the time to be able to pick up. This is Jade City written by Fonda Lee. This is book number one of the Greenbone Saga. Um, I follow Jane Fonda on Twitter and this is this Asian inspired metropolis, you know, Yakuza inspired. I'm just like super in need and hyped for some own voices, like really kick-ass Asian fantasy. And I think this is gonna be it. So I definitely wanna get this one read by the end of the year. I thought I was gonna pick it up this month and I just haven't gotten to it yet. All right, question number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? And again, that's like a really tough one for me to judge because there have actually been plenty of shockers for me. Uh, the Cruel Prince 
and the Wicked King being two of them, like some young adult has been sweeping into my life this year and really knocking it out of the park. And I was, I think, more surprised over that one because I just wasn't anticipating those books to really like wow me. But I think Jade City could be another one. And I, I don't want to like put it too high on a pedestal in case I get disappointed because that would really suck. But I think this could be a shocker. I don't know. I don't, you know, now that you put that out in the universe, what if it doesn't happen? You know, Scythe was a really was another good one too. I've been shocked this year and I really would like that trend to continue because that's been really nice for me. And the final question of this very short tag video is, have you already started making reading plans for 2020? And yes, I have. So I jump started one of my 2020 plans because I was just a little too impatient and I didn't really see the need to have to wait till 2020 to begin this. But the first one being starting my book club. So that's the big ass book club where we read one big ass book per month, which is a book over 500 pages. There's just so many big books on my shelves and I haven't really been getting to them. And because I just really want to tackle these big books on my shelf, I thought maybe having the, the external motivation from other people through a book club would be really helpful Helpful. But some other books that I actually want to get to, it's here. Fool's Assassin, the first book of the Fits and the Fool trilogy by Robin Hobb. I know I said that I wanted to finish the entire Realm of the Elderlings in 2019, and it turns out I'm just going to extend it to 2020 because as I was reading uh, the Rainwild Chronicles, I've got a full spoiler-free and spoiler review up on my channel of that whole series. As I was reading it, I just was like, I don't think I'm ready to let it go yet. So I was like, I'm going to put this on pause. Um, this probably would have made it on my list of books that I really want to get to before the end of the year had I not made that choice. Yeah, so this is definitely on my 2020 list of books. And we're we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna finish up the realm of the elderlings. Oh my god. And then this would be my next 2020 goal. That's what I've been doing for the past couple years with my Brandon Sanderson books is working my way toward the Stormlight Archive. Um, so I started with Mistborn, I've read Warbreaker, I want to read Elantris. Yeah, so I've been working my way toward this series. And so this is definitely a 2020 read. And um, my 2020 goals are really going to be about tackling these big books. So yeah, I'm just kind of preparing myself for lots of big books in 2020. I hope I hope it'll go well. You know what I mean? I hope it'll go well. All right, so that was a very quick tag video, but I hope you enjoyed it. The end of the year book tag. Leave me some comments in the comment section below. What do you think about my end of the year reading plans? Are there any books that you think are gonna shock you or things that you're really looking forward to? Maybe I'll find something that I'm like, oh yeah, that's definitely one that I thought I would get to and haven't gotten to it yet. And then of course you can follow me on my social media. So I'm on Twitter and Instagram at whatcastred, same as this channel. Easy to find for you. My Goodreads link is listed down below as well as the Big S Book Club Goodreads link is listed down below for you if you want to join and you know how these videos end. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Later,